so we're gonna do a little vlog today on getting some Botox. Um, I know this is a very controversial subject, but I just wanted to um, take my followers along and show you kind of what I do to kind of help my wrinkles. I don't do any fillers or anything like that. Um, I usually only get Botox right here and I never go more than twice a year. So I thought I would bring you along and let you see the process. And um, you can see right now, let me zoom you in, like they're really not that bad because I probably been, I've probably i been getting Botox for about two years. So my wrinkles have definitely um, smoothed out after, you know, not moving your face as much you know when you have Botox it's kind of frozen so kind of gives you a natural little brow lift it just makes this look tight and smooth and just my take on it has always been um, wrinkle creams are expensive you know and I don't really know any wrinkle creams that give you any results like Botox would give you and people have their opinions about you know if it's safe or it does this and that and poison in your body and I think what we eat nowadays is probably worse than what's in Botox I'm not saying anybody needs to get this. This is just what I personally like. My husband, when he gets off work and here in just a minute, he's gonna meet me and he's the one gonna be doing the recording. He was so against this when I first, uh, when he first found out I went and got it done. He was like, oh, that's so stupid. You're gonna look fake. You're gonna look weird. And a lot of people feel the same way, but that's more fillers. When people start getting all these fillers under here, right here, that's when your face starts changing a little bit more than what Botox can do. But the first time after I did it, he was like, oh, okay, that's not bad, that looks good. Okay, that he, and he didn't mind. Now, I'm not opposed to fillers. I would actually like to get a little bit, especially just right here in my smile lines, um, where, you know, after time my makeup tends to crease and it's just, you know, your laugh lines or whatever. Everybody gets those when they get older. But I mean, I would like to talk to him today about that, but I just, I'm not probably gonna get it done today because I just, I need to think about it more and I wanna ask him a few questions first. Like I said, I go twice a year, uh, it lasts. Um, my wrinkles have gotten a lot, lot more smoother and I'm, you know, older now. So even when I was 17, 18, I have always had kind of, you know, deep wrinkles in my forehead. And And a lot of people are like, you're so young, you don't need Botox. I'm like, it doesn't matter how old you are. It, it's kind of how your skin is. You know, everybody's skin is different. And I have done makeup on, you know, women in their 40s and 50s, and they don't have near the wrinkles as what I have. Their skin and the elasticity in their skin is better, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to get too into it because I'm not an expert. I'm not a pro. I don't want to sit here and talk about something I don't 100% know about. But I do know that Botox seems to be cheaper and it's instant. Here's my wrinkles right now. They're really not bad, like I said, because I've been getting it done, but when I first started, they were way worse than that. I just don't like these because, you know, when you wrinkle and you wear foundation and makeup, it creases. Don't like that. I will uh, bring you along when I get into the uh, doctor's office or plastic surgeon's office. That's who I go to and um, let you kind of see what he does. So I just wanted to give a little warning, a little heads up. If you get a little queasy when it comes to needles or a little bit of blood, you might want to skip over this part right here. Hurt either. Alright, smile on me. Relax. 
so ein Patch. Schedule the point. I was gonna uh, ask him about talking to you about fillers and um, not this time, but possibly, you know. You don't like, need any filler. I feel like I do. I don't know. Just like, relax, so just relax. So, what bothers me is when I wear makeup. Get that little line right and there. And it gets in there, and there's it, yeah. nothing I can do about it. You can, you can do a little bit of You've got a little bit of a line right there. Mm -hmm. You've got a little bit of a downturn of mouth, right? See right there and there. Here you're good right now. Yeah, that's not I, I too wouldn't bad. Worry. You're not too bad. The problem that I, and the reason I would tell you I would wait a little bit is because it's such a small amount of filler and you have to buy the whole syringe. You're not going to use the whole syringe. So, I mean, yes, you could. I could find a couple places to put maybe half a syringe. Do you like under here? No, don't put filler there. <laughs> don't. Um, but, um, but um, I just, you know, right now, I mean, you, you really, I, yeah, you really probably don't need it. No, no. I just noticed, like, not just the lines, but the, right here, it just seems like it's a little saggy. I don't know. Maybe Old it's just a I'm young, but I mean, I'm turning 30 this year. Oh, here we go. That's it. There but we go. Now we're getting done. Some no. people are more wrinkly than others, and I just no, like I them a little I bit. I just, I just don't think, I think it'd be such a small amount of filler yeah. and such a subtle difference, it's not going to be worth spending the money on right now. Okay. I'd give it a little more time. A little more time. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You're the expert. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so I'm all done. It did not take long at all. Um, I know my makeup looks really crazy because, you know, they have to wipe, wipe it off with alcohol and stuff. I don't know why I wear makeup um, to go do this, but I did. Got a little bit of, um, you know, crazy looking spots on my forehead right now, but that'll go away and be normal in about 20 30 minutes it doesn't hurt I know it was hard to kind of explain everything inside the room I was just hoping my husband wouldn't freak out too much never seen me get it done but I needed him to come along and film for me today because that would have been really hard to do it by myself I usually like I said get this done twice a year uh, the last time dr. Stevens did it he did it really really good um, I couldn't remember if I got 40 or 50 units, but I guess I got 50 and the way he like puts it around your forehead eye area um, There's still a little bit of movement, but it's not it's not totally frozen So it kind of looks natural, which is what I like about it All these lines will go away and it'll be nice and tight looking uh, I talked to him a little bit about fillers, but he didn't think I needed them Look at these small lines Like you can see where my foundations kind of coming through a little bit. That's one thing I really liked about him is he didn't try to talk me into something that I didn't need. They would be like, oh yeah, you need a little here, 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 here. He's not like that at all. That's one reason why I really like going to him. I went to uh, a girl like for about, I wanna say a year and a half or so. And I was not familiar with Botox at all. So, I mean, I thought it looked good when I first started going. Um, but then I just noticed that like when I would smile, the outside parts of my eyebrow, and they, they went up. When you smile, it just, this part did not move. It all moved just right up here. My husband made so much fun of me. So I didn't like that and I gave her another shot and it still happened again. And so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna go try something else. And did not do that at all last time with Dr. Stevens. So I will definitely continue coming here. I don't want fillers but I feel like I need them just because I wear makeup and makeup creases and that's what I hate about it and I just feel like I don't know just a little bit right in here but he said I mean I wouldn't need the whole syringe so why buy the whole syringe if you're not gonna use it all it's kind of a waste of money so I'm like yeah I get that thanks for not trying to screw me over that's why I like coming here and coming to him so I highly suggest if you are around you know the Wichita Falls area um, definitely come check him out over the next few days, it'll just start getting tighter and tighter and, you know, less, less wrinkles that you will see. I will come back later tonight and show you what it looks like. But like right now, I can still move them. 
they're still moving. <laughs> hey, you guys. So I was going to film like the night after I got my Botox the next day. We had a lot of crazy stuff happen. Um, my daughter got really sick. My husband got, you know, had a little flare up and we ended up in the hospital. So yeah, we've had a busy weekend. So this is now Monday. I got my Botox on Thursday last week. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bruising right here. Sometimes I bruise and sometimes I don't. So it doesn't, you know, bother me. It doesn't freak me out unless, you know, my whole face was covered in a bruise. But this one, this is a pretty good bruise. So I don't know why it got like that bad. But normally, like I said, it's not. I've had some, you know, bruising right up here. Um, and it's maybe just because, you know, of how stressed I got, like, <laughs> with my daughter getting so sick and getting admitted, maybe, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I have a little spot right here um, where I bruised a uh, teensy bit over here, but it's not bad. This one, it's just like that, you know, ugly brown green color right now. It's been covering up fine with makeup, so it's, you know, as long as it goes away within, you know, the next week, but I'm sure it will. Like I said, I've bruised, you know, before, but this is how my forehead is looking. Um, this is me. <laughs> really trying to open my eyes here. Oh my gosh, my eyes are so dark. I it's it's been a long weekend. Let's just say my husband just really he really scared me. Like he um he ended up going unconscious and stopped breathing, and it was just it was a really really hard weekend. So I am very drained, very tired looking. Um, so to, please don't mind that. But when I have my makeup on and stuff, it's all covered up. But this is, you know, this is real life. This is, you know, when I wake up in the morning, this is how I look. This is, you know, it's not all glamorous as some of these other beauty gurus make it look like. This is real life right here. But um, I'll put on some makeup later and show you. But everybody's doing good now. So I want to just update you on my Botox and how my forehead was. And obviously it's a lot tighter looking. Like I just filmed a video before I went and got Botox and I will show you a few clips of just all the wrinkles and stuff and how my forehead looked. And it looks so much better, so much better. So I still have, like they're moving a little bit. Like when I talk, you know, they're moving. Um, but all those little lines are gone and you know, right in here is nice and tight. There's a little update for you guys and I will come back once I get some makeup on this face and get this all covered up. The bruising was a little bit more intense this time, but Again, just everybody's different with how they bruise. Like I said, I have been getting Botox for several years and by Dr. Stevens a few times too, and I've never kind of bruised right there, but you know, that's just what happened this time. I'm just gonna give you a close up here when I like try to do a mean face, you know, where your eyebrows usually come in, not like coming in at all. I'm trying to raise my eyebrows, but as you can see, just by doing that right there, still have a little bit of expression when I make, you know, certain faces i keep looking here and i gotta look here you know everything set in like it should no more you know deep inset wrinkles and um yeah like when i smile i used to have a lot of little crow's feet right in there and nothing you know nothing really there when i do my eyeshadows and stuff or i do like you know a smoky outer corner it just really makes a difference just having this not wrinkle up or even like when i do a wing so anyway that is pretty much my botox vlog here for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video seeing you know the before during and after let me know if you want to see more videos like this not necessarily me go getting you know injected every week but just vlog type of videos and i will list dr steven's info down in the description box so all you need to do is just check that and uh, it'll take you to his website call him you know leave my name tell him i sent you and that is all for this video you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye